cameras trained on one man. Facing his former club, he'll want to make a point live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to the Etihad Stadium. My name's Derek Ray and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Alisson begins in goal. Nicolo Barella plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And lining up through the middle in attack today, Erling Haaland. So the starting 11 for Newcastle United. Well, they're also playing in a 4-3-3 formation, but they play it in a slightly different way, particularly in the wide areas, where their fullbacks will get forward and rotate with the wingers at every opportunity. This should be one to savour. Manchester City get the contest underway. Intelligent threaded pass here. And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And back underway, 1-0 it is. And it was an impressive performance by Manchester City in the last game as they won against West Ham United. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, Derek, the table doesn't lie, does it? So far, they've been the best team in the league. They play good football, have an excellent coach, and I'm expecting more of the same again today. Oh, surely! And he's certainly in the mood for his second. Well, he's certainly looking a threat. He looks so sharp today. And over it comes. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Holland. And a change to the scoreline at Goodison Park. With the information, here's Alex Scott. It's a goal for Spurs. They've scored the opener here with 12 minutes on the clock. Alex with the info as ever. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Plenty of players waiting in the middle and players waiting at the far post. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper and that was always going to be claimed. It's been pretty well impossible to escape all the news stories surrounding him ahead of today's match. Taking on his old club and that can bring with it a few complications. Well, for some reason, playing against your old club can be difficult. You just feel that bit of added pressure. I hope it doesn't affect him today.
A move of promise on the flank. Could cross it in here. That's a routine take. A wilting under the pressure, and now they try to go forward. And the counter attack is on, options available. Will they profit from this situation? Terrific block. Oh, big chance. Can he convert? And now the goal the City fans wanted to see. It's hard to see them throwing this away. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. But I believe there's been a goal in the Liverpool match. Alex Scott has the details. It's a goal for West Ham. You could see he knew what he wanted to do as he stepped up to take that free kick because it was executed superbly. It's now 1-0 with 33 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Oh, showing excellent vision. He's in behind the defence here. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing there for all to see. Well, just take another look at this, because the 1-2 to get behind the defence is superbly worked. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. The game continues then, and it's been all City. Decided to come in from the flank. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Well, City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. And so it will be a corner. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Corner kick played in, and in a crowded area, the keeper has managed to get there. Nice looking pass. Trying to really get at the opposition here. He's in control of the situation. And so the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at the Etihad. So off and running again. And there was a big gulf in class in the first 45. Will we see an improved effort from Newcastle in the second? And with that, the attack fizzles out. Newcastle will get the throw in. Anderson. He's lost it. And the flag is up. Offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. And with play stopped, they will make the change now.
Not the pass he had in mind. And a throw-in coming up for Newcastle. Lovely work to get past his man. But Stack defending when it mattered. But we're hearing news of a goal in the Liverpool match. Alex Scott, what can you tell us? It's a goal Alex, for apologies, I have to jump in because this could be a chance. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, we can see it again now, and it all starts with the pass over the top. It takes out so many defenders. And then Haaland finishes it with such quality. Just look how much power he hits this with. It's a top-class goal from a top-class player. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Well, we did have to cut off Alex for understandable reasons in this case. Just to confirm, West Ham did score in that match. And they're locked together in a thriller now at 2-2. Romero. And he was in the right place to intercept. And into the last 30 minutes now. Well, you've got to savour such moments. He's in with a chance. And it's come off the keeper. Great pressure to win the ball back. Well, really calm, composed goalkeeping there. It certainly was on the second attempt. It was the first save that really stood out. That was a brilliant piece of goalkeeping. Well, those stats tell the story. City have been really good today. Their attacking play has been a joy to watch here. And they're raiding again here. Attack after attack. Can he do it? The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Really good attacking play. Alex Scott has an update for us. There's been a goal at Goodison Park. Tell us all about it, Alex. Yeah, it's a goal for Spurs. It was a volley that was mishit. It totally fooled everyone, including the goalkeeper. They're back in this now with 68 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. So making the substitution now. Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV, and looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier League. It's Manchester City facing Sheffield United. Well, no two ways about it, Stuart. City absolutely cruising to victory today. Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. And a goal kick will be next. A change in the offing for City. Ten minutes left for play. Holland. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Can he finish? A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Well, as you can see, he's just placed that beyond the keeper. That's a very good finish. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Well, changing circumstances in the Liverpool game. Let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. Yeah, it's a third goal for Liverpool. He shot far post, the keeper parries it, but the rebound has been put in nicely. They now lead 3-2 with 84 minutes played. I think they just might have done it with that one, Derek. Now, forgive me, Alex. This could be an opportunity. Oh, yeah! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment.
Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Oh, that's some out-and-out pasting. 6-0. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Will it be? And in! Oh, yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place, and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. And that is that full time here, and a win for City. Your verdict? Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them.